Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another video. In the tent today, did a little overnighter last night. So I thought I'd talk about a uh, cool sleeping pad that I've been trying out for a little while, not, while now. And um, I think you might like it. This is um, an awesome sleeping pad. This is uh, a new sleeping pad, pad from Sea to Summit. It's their Etherlite XT Extreme. So my name's Chris, you're watching Skills to Survive. We'll be right back. All right, folks, welcome back to another video. Again, thanks for watching. So let's take a look at this sleeping mat here, this pad, this inflatable pad. This is from Sea to Summit. This is their Etherlite XT Extreme. This is a uh, winter sleeping bag. It has a R value of 6.2 on the um, ASTM rating. So not your regular rating. This actually has been ASTM tested to 6.2, which is very high. Uh, it's up there with like the Thermarest, um, a Neo Air uh, Extreme or a Neo Air, it's up there with that. Um, so, this sleeping bag here, or sleeping bag, this sleeping pad here is very nice. It has their pillow lock system. So, basically, what this has on here is you can put some little Velcro tabs. Uh, they're like these little 3M Velcro type tabs you can put right here, and it locks your pillow in place, which is very nice because you know, you guys know sleeping on a, a sleeping pad, your pillow is all over the place, or at least mine is. So, and they have what they call their air sprung cells in here. So as you can tell, it's like a, it's very similar to some of the other sleeping bag or sleeping pads that have this type of cells here, but these cells are not sewn all the way through with like some of the other uh, companies uh, like Climate. Uh, this is not sewn all the way through. So you do have airflow in between these points. So, which is very nice. So you get some airflow in there. Now this is the regular version and it's the, um, it's the tapered version like a mummy. So up here, you know, it's wider and then it tapers down. Now I'll have to, I'll have to put the actual dimensions for you uh, on the screen because I don't remember the actual dimensions. This is uh, a four inch thick uh, sleeping mat. So it's four inches thick and I've been very impressed with this. I've been looking for a, um, a nice inflatable pad you know I've, I've had several i've gotten several um i've used the climate ones for years but the problem with i've had with climate over the years is they generally deflate in the middle of the night i'm having to get up and reinflate them and i don't know what the deal is even with my insulated pad uh, it's done that several times but this one i have had no issues with whatsoever um, it's very easy to inflate and deflate uh, you just pop your valve right here and it comes with what they call their airstream pump sack so your stuff sack is actually the pump sack as well and i'm one-handed here but you undo this and i'll put in a picture for you or some video and you just connect it here and you just basically start inflating and it took about 10 times eight to ten times and this thing was fully inflated now you can kind of adjust it to how you want um, but so yeah, I don't remember the insulation in here is a Thermolite uh, insulation. It's a uh, apparently a very high-end insulation uh, inside of here, and it's fairly quiet. It's not unlike your uh, your Thermarest. The Neo Air is very very loud. This is not this is this is not a loud pad at all, uh, which I like. I wish I would have got the regular rectangle though instead of the tapered version because. You know, I find, I find my feet coming off the sides a little bit because I'm a side sleeper. And that's another thing. Since I'm a side sleeper, I have a problem with pads because most of the time my hips dig into the ground and stuff like that. Well, with this one, I have had no problems. Again, four inches thick and it being insulated, it's actually kept me warm, which is very nice. That's what it's supposed to do, keep you warm, right? So I've actually used this, um, just my pad, and then I've took like a blanket and covered me up like a quilt and I've been very warm that way. Uh, and then as well as sleeping with a sleeping bag on top of it. So again, very nice um, pad. I've had zero issues with this so far. It does, again, come with your stuff sack, which is also your pump sack. It comes with your little pillow um, tabs here. You can put your pillow lock on there. I have not done that yet. You do have a little patch repair kit and a little valve repair. It comes with that as well. So yeah. Um, very nice. Again, Cedar Summit makes some pretty good equipment or pretty good stuff. I had, used to have one of their, um, 
reactor sleeping bags uh, liners uh, I don't want any more uh, I think I gave it away or who knows what happened to it but anyway so see to summit makes some good stuff and uh, this is you know no exception this is definitely um, high-end stuff now it's not cheap uh, which is another another thing it's probably gonna throw some people off it's not cheap but like I said in previous videos you, you need to pay for quality gear I've, I've used all the cheap stuff over the years I've tried to go cheap uh, but this is definitely an investment if you want to stay warm at night, especially in the winter time. Um, I've had this down to 20 degrees and I've been, you know, comfortable and did not feel any cold from the ground or anything like that. That being said, I also generally will put my sleeping pads, all of them, on some type of closed cell foam pad as well to kind of help. So, yeah. So, anyway, check them out. See the Summit. I'll put a link down below where you can check them out. I don't get paid for this. Uh, they did send me this one out, though, to check out. And I do want to thank See the Summit for that. Um, again, it's been a very nice, uh, very nice pad so far. I can't, you know, recommend it highly enough, um, at least right now, you know, I've had no issues with it. So anyway, thanks again for watching folks get outside, get outdoors. Always make sure you have necessary skills to survive and I'll see you on another video really soon. Thanks again for watching.